The tale of Gondolin begins with Turgon, son of Fingolfin, High Elf, and King of the Noldor and ruler of Neverast. Turgon, Finrod, and their people wandered in undiscovered lands in search of a proper place to build a new town, but found none that appealed to him. He had Tyrion, the magnificent city, still in mind and wanted to find a similar terrain for building his city. Olmo, a valor who saw him and his group, entered their dreams and told them of his worries about the growing power of Morgoth, and it was decided that the place for the new city should have natural, strong, protective borders. Finally, Finrod arrived at Nargothrond and settled there along with a large number of his people. He believed that Olmo, upon entering his streams, wanted them to live here and would be protected from Morgoth. Turgon, however, was not satisfied and returned to Nevras and lived there happily for a year. Olmo then came to visit Turgon and guided him into a valley surrounded by an encircling chain of mountains, with a fairly large hill in the middle. He returned to Nevras without speaking a word of his newfound land and started creating the city of his dreams for the next few years, along with a few but very skilled group of elves whom he brought to Gondolin shortly after finishing his plans for his city. And so the city was called Gondolin, the Hidden Rock, its existence only known by a few and its location even more well kept. After a few years, as Turgon was returning to Nevras, he met with Olmo once more, who told him it was time to live in Gondolin and never stray too far from the Hidden City. It was promised that Gondolin would be the last city to fall to Morgoth and its years to come were promising. However, Turgon was warned that he should be careful of the love he could hold for the city for the true hope would come from the west, not from Gondolin. And so Turgon brought his people secretly to this hidden rock, and no other elf knew where they disappeared. Turgon had a sister, Arafel, and while she followed him in Gondolin and stayed there for many years, she longed to leave and return to the Noldor. Turgon refused to let her leave for a long time, remembering Olmo's advice, but finally agreed, and she shuffled far from Gondolin. Upon entering Nan Elmoth, a dark and tall forest from which many forests such as Fangorn, Mirkwood, and the Old Forest, or even Lothlorien came from, and went in so deep she reached the home of Eol, a dark elf. Eol found her very beautiful and took her for a wife, and although he did not completely force her to stay, she was not allowed to wander off alone. She lived with him for many years and gave birth to Maeglin, and whom she told the tales of Gondolin, the hidden city of her brother. Maeglin's desire to see the city grew over the years, and he managed to convince his mother to leave when Eol was away for a few days. Unfortunately, Eol returned early and, full of anger, decided to go after them. Unaware of this, Arafel and her son returned to Gondolin, warmly welcomed by her brother. However, Eol managed to find the Hidden Rock and ordered his wife and son to return to Nan Elmoth. Angered by the fact that Eol ignored his laws, he gave them two choices, to remain in Gondolin or to die in Gondolin, and the fate would be the same for his son. Eol chose the latter, and he was quickly chained to be killed the next day. However, Eol pulled a spear from his cloak and threw it at Maeglin, but his mother stepped in front and died only a day after. Eol was killed and his end seemed just all. Maeglin lived in Gondolin afterwards, gaining the trust and respect of many. Even the king, who gave him the House of Mole. And with the most skilled mind, Maeglin explored the caves of Ekorath and mountains surrounding Gondolin. Later on, a man named Twa arrived at Gondolin, along with a few other men, carrying a warning from Olmo. Gondolin was in danger of Morgoth, and Turgon should leave it before it was too late. Maeglin strongly despised Twa for being a man, and worse for being wed to Idri, whom Maeglin loved and lusted for. He argued against Twa and convinced Turgon not to leave Gondolin, promising that it could never fall to Morgoth's armies. Maeglin's love soon turned black, and he began to become more arrogant and disrespected Turgon's laws. He left Gondolin to mine outside its borders, for he valued a rare jet black ore, but was soon captured by Orc and brought to Angband, Morgoth's fortress in the Iron Mountains. There, Morgoth asked for Gondolin's location, which Maeglin refused to give, but Morgoth promised to give Maeglin Idril for his wife if he was to give away the location of Gondolin, and he agreed. And so Maeglin, nephew of Turgon and the head of the House of Mole, doom and destruction at the doors of Gondolin, which only a few escaped through Idril's passage under the mountains. Alright guys, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been all about Gondolin, as you've already uh, realised, but that's it. Alright, don't forget to leave suggestions, and I'll see you later. Bye.